everyone, welcome to Piano Well. This is Emma Newman. In this series of videos I'm going to show you how imagination and singing affect piano playing and help create your own interpretation of music. Listening to harmonies of a piece is a wonderful experience to find emotional story of the piece. Ability to express emotional nuance and aura of harmonies through the touch, tone and time let both performer and listener dive deeper into the story of music. Students are usually not taught how to feel harmonies and what to do with them. They might be asked to bring up some special harmonies by playing it soft or brighter, but yet that wouldn't help to convey emotional color of every harmony in the piece. Expressing all shades of harmonies through the tone requires various very delicate and sensitive touches that cannot be just shown and explained, but should be found within student imagination. When we imagine a sound, an emotional color of harmony that enriches sensation on the tip of our finger and we will discover more ways of touching the key. Uh, also that would bring more nuances to our intonation and that will make our playing be more expressive. So let's see again how that works in singing. I'm gonna sing this G in G major first. And then the same G in E minor. And we could feel how imagination would change the tone of my singing. So. so the color is very clear and bright. So you can feel the difference. Now let's see how uh, imagination would also change our intonation. I'm gonna sing uh, G and B in G major again. And E minor. So I would first imagine those in E minor and then sing. consider that if something changes our imagination it will also change our playing. It's because in the moment when we imagine sound the energy of that sound would somehow affect our sensations and fingertips, finger in the whole body. So uh, by imagining sound I would already create the touch that I want uh, to have on the piano. So if I imagine this G in the beautiful soprano voice or violins, I would imagine this timber in the color of this G major harmony. And that changes already my imagined sound, and that changes sensation in my fingertips. So I imagine, I prefer. I feel the sound in my finger and my fingertip and I touch the key expressing G major uh, color <laughs> within, my, within my tone. Now I'm going to imagine G in E minor. So the tone is different. And the same thing happens when we play more than one note when I need to connect two notes and we use intonation and by the way if you don't know anything about intonation how to sing click this video uh, it will bring you to the to the video where I explain how to do this and so G B I would imagine again in G major and then play and sing it in G major color. Now I'm going to do this in E minor. And 
And so this is exactly how you would achieve various, uh, achieve various touches and also enrich your intonation um, and make your playing be more expressive. Uh, there is one stage right in our system and we listen to harmonies. Again, I've got so many commands. Okay, I listen to harmony. I have the plan broadly what's going on <laughs> but again just by understanding you cannot express anything so make sure guys that after you going through harmonies and you listen to them you cannot stop just with this you have to do this uh, to be able to imagine every note. So after you know, after you have this emotional idea of every harmony, you have to come back to timbre when you imagine every note in strings, in um, beautiful voice, in cellos, violins here, and imagine this timbre in this harmony, and that will give some nuance uh, to your sound, and that will reflect uh, your touching. Because as we know, everything we imagine here appears here. This is our head over here. <laughs> Whatever we have here, the same thing we have here. If our finger is empty, if our sound is empty, that means our head is empty <laughs> with sound. So after we uh, imagine every note in timbre and with this color of harmony, then that will enrich our touch so much. I mean, you, you will discover thousands of different touches just in piano just because the harmony would be different. So I think this is a very important thing to tell you guys because I, r I really want you to understand by thinking, by understanding which interval I play, by understanding even phrasing or form or harmony of the piece, you will not change anything in your performance. You only, it will only let you convey your emotions if you know that you express everything through intonation, you express everything through vibrations of your singing between notes, and this is how it goes. You change vibrations, you change your sound. <laughs> you basically change the energy, because this is what I'm talking about, vibrations, energy, the same thing. especially if we are coming, for example, here. I bet you didn't know, but this one, based on the very first harmonies that we have in this bar. Almost. <laughs> but still the same. You just keep that dominant. Um, that's quite interesting, right? So, then over here, and it's resolved, and resolved, and trust me, if you feel these harmonies in your head, because we're basically gonna imagine every note in this emotional color of harmony, and you would never play like this. Like both of them, this one is more painful, that means a little bit louder. And this one more simple, that means a little bit softer. <laughs> right? Now, um, what else? Yeah, there are a lot of tense harmonies, you will discover it by yourself. In the very end, again, if you go through harmonies, Right, so this one is still in the mood of the whole piece. Now, starting from third bar, you can see how he actually changes from that passionate um, pain and um, power. He goes to just a very beautiful sad sadness, like here. It's not so tense anymore something some wonderful places here and then 
Yes, it's still minor, but it's not so desperately minor, not so dark. And then at the very end, yes, he, he still finished with C sharp minor, but he used different position and this C, G sharp, it sounds more clear, right? So this kind of feelings um, gives, you, gives you color. Uh, to your timbre when you start imagining again everything you know in the strings you simply imagine them in this color of harmonies first of all what do you think about the first line is it C major or is it A minor I always thought that could be A minor but this time I thought hey that's probably C major Imagine this beautiful voice in a C major color. At least what I'm doing here. It's just a good idea. Now, what is going next? We're going to A minor. It's not as dramatic as D minor or C minor, as in his revolutionary etude. It's just A minor. But it's kind of sad, but it's very, very deep sadness and deep, um, well, let's say, tragedy here. So we start with A minor, then going to some more dissonant and diminished chords. And then every time after like four bars, he goes to major. E major in dominant in this case. And E major has so much positivity that no, back again to A minor. Then C, then again going through some di different diminished chords, Ex anticipating something great, and here we are, this is going through to a major, and then to C major, which is very confident and positive. Wait, no, we're back again to E minor, which is more dark, darker than A minor. So e minor. I don't want to make it louder. I want to make it a little bit, you know, like giving up and still a lot of pain. And then again, two bars of kind of paradise. And it's like a dream. And then again, oh no, we're going to dissonance. Stop. Now this is amazing harmony, guys. It's like the pain is so high that you're like literally in the trance on this. And in my next video, I will explain how to make accurate articulations. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.